what's, what's this last year been like for you? <laughs> I've been asked that a lot lately. Uh, quick. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's been a year. Um, in fact, I was talking to uh, I was talking to my family the other day, and it'll be two years next month since I auditioned. So it's been... I don't know where the time's gone, to be honest with you, but I'm enjoying it. I'm having a blast being out on the road and, and uh, waking up in a different city every day, having new stimuli and getting to play music. There's nothing cooler than that. Is this, like, just a dream come true for you, obviously? Yeah, I think... Um, uh, you know, I grew up watching my dad play guitar, and, and uh, I picked up a guitar around 12, 13, and I think from the second I started playing one, it was just this kind of what I wanted to do. So what were you doing, like, like just two years ago? You decided, hey, I'm just going to try out for American Idol, and what uh, you doing before that? Uh, before this, I was actually, uh, I'd been in band since I was 15, uh, so I was doing that down in Tulsa and, and uh, working on a solo record and bartending, and then... Um, I went to Omaha with my little brother. He was auditioning. I went as moral support and got talked into it in line, and it all just kind of fell in place. What is? What are like your favorite memories from American Idol? Did you did you continue to watch the show like in the next? Uh, I did watch. I watched last season, and uh, it was it was weird watching it on the other end of the spectrum. You know, to I, I had a different empathy, I guess, for the contestants. You know, before it was. You'd watch somebody and they wouldn't sound good on a week, and you'd be like, "Man, that was just not good." And now I watch it, you know, and somebody will have an off week, and it's like, I wonder if they were sick, or if you know something had happened, and you know maybe they didn't learn their song well enough, and 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 you start thinking about all these possible reasons. Because I remember when I was on the show, it was just like, there was something because I'd walk out on stage and be like, I have no idea what's about to come out of my mouth, and and um, but yeah, I don't know. I think um, for me, it just it's been a whirlwind. It's been so quick. I don't know. I feel like. I feel like maybe it's been about six months. You're kidding. Yeah, it's been... Weird. I haven't stopped, so... What did you think of our guy, Danny Goki? Um, you know, I like Danny. I thought I thought what he brought to the table was cool. You know, he has kind of this Michael McDonald kind of quality about him, as I'm sure he probably wouldn't like me saying, but... Um, I, you know, I, I think with his talent, I mean, the sky's the limit. It's kind of what he does with it. What did, what did it feel like for you passing the torch? It was bittersweet. Uh... I, I certainly was kind of keen on the idea of not being the new guy anymore. Um, but, um, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, I had an amazing experience being on Idol, and, and uh, there were some aspects of being the new guy that I really liked. So, But I, I think Chris is a great um, great representative for the show. I think a lot of – I think almost everybody from this last season is a great representative for the show. And, uh, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, they're, they're out on the Idol tour now and probably enjoying themselves. What's ahead for you? Uh, well, we're on the road till probably the end of the year. And then, um, uh, you know, unless the record keeps going the way it has, uh, we'll probably uh, take the beginning of 2010 and start working on another one. So. How has how your sales been? How was your... Uh, Man, we... I have to say, you know, with the economy the way it is, I wasn't really sure what to expect coming out of the gate. Um, and, you know, we've sold, I think, like 1.2 million, which is amazing. Um the fact that people are taking this income that, that may not be so, you know, uh, throwaway anymore and, and investing it in, you know, our record and, and coming to shows, um, that's that's a huge compliment. We don't take that lightly at all. Where are you headed next? You know? uh, next, we're heading back into Minnesota. And then uh, after that, I have no idea. <laughs> so other places. <laughs> yeah. Thing. Yeah, sure. like that. Absolutely. Have place? Absolutely. Have you been here before? Yeah. Uh, I've been to uh, I've been to Wisconsin before. Yeah, um, I used to play shows uh, in Edgerton quite a bit. So a uh, little different than this, but um, I'm excited to be back. Is there anything else you would want your your fans to know, or that you would want? To um, really, I don't know. I mean, I, I think you know we get a huge kick out of performing every night, and hopefully, uh, hopefully that probably to the audience. So I hope everybody comes out tonight, and anytime we're around the area, and, and comes and checks us out. Lots of the girls at the station want to know if you're available. I am available, yeah, <laughs> for an interview. Uh, no, no, I'm single. <laughs> <laughs>